So, um, if you've read SIBC Guide A, you may have come across the AIDA algorithm. Um, and um, it's, uh, well, it's for, for uh, working out infiltration rates. It's, it's quite easy to re-implement in um, some of its original basic. If we just copy it through to a, a text editor to, to clean up the... Uh, Clean up the uh, the text a bit. Clean up the programming code. Get it. Um, um, take take it. Things like the, uh, the the PDF formatted Unicode inverted commas and um, um, that's better. And um, yeah, put put them in as ASCII inverted commas. So. Um, and I, I've got a DOS emulator on a phone actually, I'm just running a phone a terminal on my PC. Um, but um, you, you can run it straight on your phone as well if you want. Um, let's try this. Okay, oh there's, a, there's an error, oops. Um, I need to try and work out what the problem with that is. Is that, is it the... the that on one line. Actually, I think what it was is some versions of DOS. Um, might, yeah, they may not have um, um, been able to use the same, you know, the same syntax for if statements. Uh, so I'm going to try writing out the if statement longhand um, rather than having this kind of compressed form where where multiple functions are executed after the after um, the if. Let's see if this works. Let's give that a go. Okay, so yes, yeah, it was just the dialect. Okay, whoops, okay, sorry, <laughs> it flashed across then. Oh, I need something to test it with, so uh, we've got uh, GU, uh, GU05, which is probably where that, that that basic listing originally appeared and uh, we can input some values here this is actually sped up <laughs> with uh, um, I, I can't type at 400 words per minute <laughs> um, so you can actually do this on on your phone as well and um, uh, there we go so it um, yeah it, it's it's done its job excellent so I felt it'd be helpful to uh, revisit this in um, in Excel and bring it up to date, maybe. Um, and here it is. So um, we can, um, you know, we can just mess with these and uh, you know change settings. Um, there's uh, there were some later extensions to the program that involved um, uh, computing uh, based on mass flow instead. So um, you know all of these, uh, you know. Uh, and so, um, <clears throat> and um, it's um, it's taking the original, um, you know, uh, kind of basic basic code, um, um, rewriting it in VBA, but also making it um, using VBA's object-oriented features. So um, we go to the um, uh, VBA um, editor. Um, there's uh, there's a the 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 openings um, are, are in a, a collection class now in uh, VBA, and um, there's a there's a class uh, module that um, basically implements the um, the the IDA algorithm as a, you know as a as a function, and uh, returns a well it returns quite a large array of um, calculated values, but uh, we we just strip down the ones that we really want. Um, uh, yeah, but the, the reason for this is um, it, it helps us abstract this this uh, the complexity of it. Um, not that it's particularly com complex, but it, it helps us abstract the complexity away. So when it comes to um, using it as a kind of piece of Lego, then you can write much more simple um, kind of functions that um, look like this. So th this is something this can be accessed as a use defined function in the spreadsheet, um, and um, yeah. And it, it it'll return just a single value. It'll return the the, the you know the flow in meters cubed per second for the zone, um, or or you know if it, with a slight modification of this function down here, it'll actually return a, an array. You know, so uh, that could be accessed via a um, um, 
one of these control shift enter um, array formulas or, or actually in office 365 you've now got this spill uh, function um, uh, spill functionality uh, which which this can exploit um, which is quite useful so you know apart from this kind of you know the standard input methods um, you know that we've got here you, you could for example um, you know you could create a time series which I've just done a kind of you know a <laughs> very crude time series of a few hours here using using that total flow function and um, it evaluates total flow well, based on this exactly the same inputs but just in you know in a different way um, it's graphed out here um, I've just thrown some random values in and then the same function um, as, as you know output as an array formula so you can I don't know if you can see the you know the kind of the the, the, the thin the thin uh, blue um, line that renders around these and if you click on um, the cell to the right um, you see it's all greyed out up here um, so they're, they're spill functions that's um, that's a um, if you're in an older version of office you can use exactly the same function as a control shift and en enter function um, but I mean at some point we, we you know we may be able to you know it's a kind of have, a, have more of a dashboard um, uh, kind of approach where we you know, we we have um, you know we we kind of put in the temperature outside, temperature inside. Um, you know, we can have local wind speeds and stuff. This is not completed. This, but um, you could actually, you know, it's it's quite easy. So these these were implemented. If anyone remembers class vent, you know, they, this all these were all kind of in, implemented in that BB one hundred and one class vent tool, um, which was quite a horror to use. So I think the aim is really to provide something that's a, a lot more user friendly than class vent. Um, but um, you know, so let's everything. Yeah, reference to open terrain at ten meters high. That's the kind of reference wind speed. Um, yeah, um, and at the moment, this is based on the you know the flow coefficient equations, which are you know which are if you use IES, then they they're kind of similar to the crack flow equations. They probably cl most closely match the crack flow equations. Um, AI doesn't doesn't implement the um, orifice equation um, but that it may be able to you know we may be able to change the um, you know the the uh, flow function uh, in some way either in the code or maybe in the sheet um, but yeah yeah um, it's just a, a bit of what you can do what we could maybe do with this um, especially like the um, you know the kind of uh, yeah the um, you know the, the possibility of, of time series functions then that could be quite powerful. Anyway, thank you for watching.